Hello, everyone. So let us continue our series on surgery for spinal cord tumors, that is ependymomas. As a spine surgeon, I operate a number of cases, number of cases of spinal cord tumors. One equipment which is the most useful for me is a microscope. Let me explain you what is a microscope. How does it make our surgeries more safe and effective? Let me present. So the importance of microscope in spinal cord tumor surgery. So this is a series. This presentation is part of the series of understanding the role of technology in your treatment. So spinal cord tumors are raised by serious condition that can cause neurological symptoms and they are required treatment. Surgery is often the main treatment for spinal cord tumors and it requires a clear visualization and precise surgical technique for optimal outcomes. And a microscope is a valuable tool in spinal cord tumor surgery, allowing, allowing for improved visualization and more accurate tumor removal. So this is a surgical microscope. So what is a microscope? Everyone knows what is a microscope. So let me concise it. So a microscope is a device that uses lenses and illumination to magnify and visualize small structures that are not visible to the naked eye. In spinal cord tumor surgery, a microscope is used to magnify and illuminate the surgical field to allow for more accurate and precise surgery. So the, how is a microscope used in spinal cord tumor surgery? A microscope mainly performs two functions. It is used to magnify and illuminate the surgical field. So with the help of magnification, the surgeon can adjust the magnification and focus of the microscope to see small details and structures more clearly which includes the tumor and the surrounding tissues. This allows for safer and more precise surgical techniques and reduces the risk of damage to healthy tissues and nerves. So what are the advantages of using a microscope? It, it improves the visualization of the tumor and the surrounding tissues, allowing for more accurate tumor removal. It reduces the risk of damage to healthy tissues and nerves. It improves the patient outcomes and faster recovery times. The ability to perform minimal invasive surgery which can reduce surgical time and the hospital stay. So first one, it provides ultra high definition resolution. This white structure which you are seeing is a nerve. This nerve, the actual size is of the size of a your hair strand. You can see under the microscope, this nerve is magnified and seen crystal clear. This is the primary function, ultra high definition re resolution. The focused light. The light is very strong. It is very focused. You can direct it through small apertures, which is typical of neurosurgery. You have to reach the tumor by, through very small openings. This microscope effectively does this. Zoom. The same now which you have seen in my first slide. It is zoom for number of times, maybe 10 times. In spite of zooming, you can see the clarity of picture. In spite of the advantage, some limitations. It increases the surgical times. Sometimes there are technical difficulties like, such as image distortion, equipment failure, and it also depends on the surgeon skill and experience. So the use of a microscope is an important tool in spinal cord tumor surgery that can improve patient outcomes and reduce the risk of complications. Patients should discuss the use with your healthcare provider. And it is also important to choose a surgeon who is experienced in using a microscope and has a high success rate in spinal cord tumor surgery. Read the medical disclaimer. Thank you. Do share this video with your friends, colleagues, and anyone else who is suffering from spinal cord tumor or who is waiting for a surgery for spinal cord tumor. Subscribe to this channel and thank you.